Hey, Coach, with all the uh, outside noise going on and other leagues canceling, how are you keeping those kids singularly focused when you get them into the fish bubble there? Yeah, well, I think once you get them into the once you get them into the bubble and you get them into the fish field house, I think it's easy because you're stepping on the grass or the turf and you're locked in. And it's it's probably the only time of the day none of us think about the outside world, which is to me one of the reasons football is such an awesome game because every time you step out on this field or you have a game or practice, everything else seems to disappear. Um, you know, I just keep telling the guys, control what you can control. And if you start thinking ahead and you start thinking about three weeks from now, four weeks from now, or reading the news or seeing the Twitter and reading everybody's thoughts and opinions, it, it, it will ruin your day. So control what you can control, wake up every day, do your best. And, and that's all we've been saying. We have great kids, Rich. And, um, you know, you got to give them a lot of credit. Is it, type, is it a type of discipline you've noticed in them that they've been able to do that? Yeah, it has to be discipline. And to me, it just shows how much they care for one another. You know, by them, you know, trying to do something or be somewhere they shouldn't be, they're not only putting themselves at risk, but they're putting their teammates at risk. And that's just the message that we keep sending to them. This isn't just about you. This is about each other. And, uh, again, all the credit goes to them so far for doing a great job with that. Okay. Open it up. Anybody else? Seems like that's all we got today, really. No, hey, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dan, Dan doesn't even show up for work today. So oh, go ahead, Rich. Uh, yeah, I just noticed that uh, Jeff and Brandon and uh, Sebastian are coming on today. Could you just give me a little rundown on those two guys so far in camp? Uh, who were the guys you mentioned? Jerkovic and Sebastian. Yeah, um, I think what you see with Phil um, every day is he gets better. It's been a long time since, you know, he's gotten a lot of reps like this, and he needs experience. He needs a lot of different things thrown at him. He needs to see it. He needs to make mistakes and fail, correct it. Oh, boy. Um, but he's doing a really good job. We're throwing a lot at him. He's picking it up. He's positive. He's having fun. And, um, you know, I, I think he's doing a really nice job. Sebastian, another guy, you know, he's, he's learning a different scheme, some different techniques. Um, and I think he's, he's another one who's getting better every single day. He's got a great attitude. Um, he competes daily. He's coming in for extra help, extra work. It means a lot to him. And I think those two are, are taking really big steps day by day. We'll go next to Kevin Stone. Coach, how you doing? Good, Kevin. How are you? Good, thanks. Um, does it feel like things are actually – sort of normal now I mean you guys have been at it for about two or three weeks um actually doing football activity but I know you've been at it for months and months now but do things finally kind of feel like football season now yeah I mean every time we step on the field it feels normal truthfully when I don't have my mask on I don't feel normal anymore it's it's kind of like become part of me now um yeah once we're on that field it feels normal you know it we're, we're going at full speed ahead um ready to kick the ball off when we're told our season will start. But we don't have time to, to think about anything else. We have a lot of work to do. Any other questions for Jeff? Uh, go ahead, Rich. Rich, you're on, you're on mute. I'm sorry. Uh, just talk about program building right now. You're, you're this much into training camp. Are you starting to see – uh, what you're looking for coming together a little bit? Yeah, uh, we're, we're starting to learn how we're going to practice um, from little things, right? To, yeah. You know, what we're going to look like in stretch to how we're going to run from drill to drill to how we practice as a good teammate when we thud up and what it looks like and how we learn to protect our team during practice. So all the little things that you do on the field, it takes time. And, and unfortunately, we did not have that during spring football. And we're building that now. And we're starting to come together. And – you know, it's fun to watch. You know, I would say for everything these guys have sacrificed for each other, I think when this is all said and done, you're going to see a really close, tight football team. Um, so you got to look at the positive out of it all. I've always noticed with that, too, like a lot of times if there was a great breakup on a play, the defense goes crazy and vice versa. If there's a you know, flank or reverse that goes for 25 yards, the offense goes crazy. Do you see a lot of that among the kids, you know, like the competitive defense versus offense and yeah, that's what that's what training camp is all about, right? It's every day yeah. against each other, and you know, I try to make a lot of winner versus loser situation. Like today, for example, we ended practice. We put the ball down on the five yard line. Whoever won 
uh, whoever lost had to do up downs, uh, trying to create situation where, you know, the guys have fun. We, we can't forget. I mean, we all got into this because we love football and because playing football is fun and we can't take that away from these kids. So when you get things competitive and you challenge them and you do fun things like that, um, it kind of, kind of makes practice more upbeat and a lot of energy. So it's been a lot of fun to see that.